hi everyone and welcome back welcome to another video and in this video we are going to talk about nasjs graphql code first approach with mongodb so in the last video we talked about code first approach with uh, uh, type orm and postgres this time we change it to nosql and we will see what is the difference it's just like we are just changing the the persistence layer from postgres to mongodb and we are going to use mongoose so it is a plain and simple example so i want to walk you through not like writing the code because it's not big much it's not much code we are writing here instead of type or a module dot for root async we are using mongoose module dot for root and you can pass your database url and i already have a docker compose dot yml you can just do docker compose up your mongodb container is up and running and you can start consuming the the data so i just have items module which i have added in the app module this is the items module items module has a service resolver and dtos and the schema because we are using mongoose so mongoose in mongoose we define a schema which is a representation of a nosql table and here we have items module which contains okay mongoose module dot for feature what is the schema name what is the model name the representation of model object which is an instance of the model and the schema this is the item schema and the service and the resolver same we are going to replace the controller with the resolver and the the service which is going to access this mongodb model here we are using inject model inject model items and so that we can do item dot find item dot save item dot find one find by id and update find by id and remove all these different possible basic operations so i will not go into much into the deep because this is just a simple item scred here i'm doing create for this create i'm taking item input first let's talk about resolver because resolver is taking the input okay and here we are defining the types same as the dto so here in the dto i'm using the object type field int uh, input type all these values i'm using you can see here i'm doing the field which is of type id which is object id and these are our others are type string and you can also add a class validators and all from the is string is not empty is defined is not null and all these things so resolver is returning a type of item type so what is item type create item dto this is the item type because this all these uh, methods are going to return the item type containing the id uh, what are the different price title description and all so this is our resolver this resolver has all these methods i'm just injecting the service and then we have this query which is returning item type array query which returns a string query which returns item type query which returns item type object these are like update delete and create right in create i am taking the item input and i am doing service dot create service dot update service dot delete and service dot find all a very simple operations right which uh, is like simple cred and then inside the service we have defined all these methods because in service we have injected the item model the mongoose model and we are doing find find all find one find by id and remove find by id and delete basic mongoose cred operations so i will not talk much here because these are very basic things we are talking and this is how simple it is now instead of this you can have n number of models write their resolvers write their services different modules and put those modules in the app module because my target is to cover more on the prisma side prisma nesjs graphql so i just wanted to talk a simple examples for the mongoose so we can run this i will do docker compose up and then npm run start and we should be able to access the queries and mutations exposed by this graphql setup okay now we can see a demo like how it is working this is our docker compose file and i did docker compose up and it spin uh, it was able to spin the mongodb container and then i did npm install npm run start that's it okay and it is starting this nesjs graphql server Uh, with mongoose mongoose initialized item module dependency initialized and then we can just reload this so we can get the updated documents 
and here we are we can see we have these queries and we have the mutations so let's try this query and this is returning empty and then we can create the item this is a mutation and I can run the mutation and then I can again hit the query give me all the items so this is like plain and simple how we are executing it right so this is simple example of uh, nest.js graphql with a mongoose and mongodb and you can just add on to further modules instead of item modules you can have a user module comment module post module and define the relationship with the mongodb collections using references and you can build the whatever the apis you want okay so in the coming videos we will talk about nest.js graphql with the prisma that is our main target and main focus and i will i will cover at least one or two applications with that uh, demo examples and how it is working so stay tuned and let's connect in the next video.